I would recommend that you master the key universal principles instead of an infinite number of techniques. If you're in a scenario like this and he strikes in and I stay in this middle, I might get attacked. I can might hit him, but he can also hit me. So the idea, if I want to do a tactical idea, the moment he strikes in, if he strikes in, oh, I'm on the side of him. If he strikes me with the other hand and I'll do this, oh, I'm on this side of him. So I angle in. Now I could do it in different styles, do it in pop like that, or he does it again, look at this. It doesn't have to be a style, it's just the idea that I want to enter from an angle instead of getting it head on. I can only do that if I'm physically, or I'm, I'm, I can dominate. So angle in, same thing, if he's really coming towards me, if I can angle out, that's also a tactical idea across any style, training that. Another thing is, if, if, if he moves from the upper body, you move from the upper body, he's more vulnerable for strikes. But if he technically focuses on moving from the center of his body, and he strikes him, then he's also, when he's turned turn around now, he's, he's very agile and can move fast, because all the movement comes from the center, instead of being upper body related. So that's a technical aspect. It could also be a strategical aspect that says that, hey, if he has a longer reach than me, look, if he puts the hands out, I can't reach him, so I gotta be closer, right? So strategically, if he strikes me, I gotta be closer to him. Now, if, I'm, if I do it more tie style, I might go for a clinch. If I do it more grappling, I might wanna go down and take him down. Even in boxing, I would need to go closer. I would need to be like a swarm, I'm even closer to him. Because the moment I'm on distance, he will have that advantage on reach. It's just principles, it's not system-based. Now, you have to understand key universal principles key because they are not like any principles, it's the very important principles. Universal, across any style. And when I'm talking about principles, I'm talking about whole categories of techniques, the principle behind them. You only have to learn a limited amount of, of technique, there are a limited amount of principles to understand a lot of technique and you'll be able to improve a lot faster. So the whole idea is the moment that that he's that striking in, I'll be either angling off, or he's coming more forward, I'm, in, I'm stepping out, or when he's coming in, I'm moving from the center of my own mass, bringing in with me a lot of uh, potential power. Principle-wise, if he grabs on in a clinch, he takes a clinch, now here, see, out here, he will win if he's stronger than me. And you can do like a follow-up of the clinch if you do that. So he does the clinch, and I'm here, see, that's different. Right now, that hand is dead, this one is covered, and if he gives me an elbow here, there's no elbow potential. So if he grabs onto me again, quack, quack, quack. I have a pressure on him, I can also kick him. If he kicks me, he has to control the distance. It's actually me controlling the distance. So there's different ways to do this. The moment he touches, the grabs onto me, I can control the incoming force and start attacking him. Of course, if he has a really tight grip, like a really tight grip, still there's options of striking, even though he can give me knees, but the moment he will give me a knee, whoop, the knee is not there. You have to see that the moment that I put a pressure on him where he cannot hold on, the knee can no longer be there. And he has to understand if he grabs my neck, his head is right there. Bam. So if you want to grab onto me, whoop, boom, boom, boom. So the problem is once I can lay on top of his arms, what it? grab onto me, what, what? Now there's a problem if you cannot cover, yeah, so this one cannot really hit me if he gives me an elbow with this one. He has to close in. If he can't close the distance, if I control the distance, he will not be able to do it. It's not about style, it's an understanding of distance. Any style can do this. A lot of times when you're standing in a situation like this, also people say, he can just give you an elbow. He has a strike here. There's no elbow unless I have passed that this distance. There's another hand coming in. There's no elbow. The elbow. Is here, right? This might be an elbow, right? Oh, here he can give me an elbow, see? Unless I do this, give me an elbow. There's no elbow there. So understanding the key universal principles, if you understand those, you can put them into any style and you can do quantum leaps in your skill and knowledge. So start there.